everybody. Welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67. This is Gina. Um, today I'm going to share another little idea. We are uh, working on how to use up extra book pages that we've got in our stash. And this little booklet, um, I just was playing around and I really um, liked how it came out. I just got to, you know, mixing different book pages and adding bits and pieces for my stash. But so what I thought I would do is I'll probably break this video up into two parts because there are some people who would only be interested in learning how to make the book itself. They're not probably not going to be interested in how I'm going to decorate. So I'm going to break it up into two sections, but just um, very quickly let me just show you what we are going to end up completing. And I absolutely love the, cl the little closure that I created with this and, and I'll show you how, to, how I got that. So, as you can see, I did mix in a few bits of uh, my tea dyed papers scraps that I had left over, and this is primarily um, part of my stash busting. But um, for the purposes of today, we'll just focus on how to use the book page to create this. And you can see it's a very small little booklet just another way for us to use it and I absolutely love how it's come out because this is could be as a standalone journal I think at Christmas this would be beautiful done up with some Christmas things to give to somebody because it's enough that if, if a person's not a journaler um, you could still put photos and add little um, memories about the holidays what a great little um, birthday gift for somebody and maybe just tuck in a gift card. I just think it's adorable. So let's get started. To You can make this any size, um, but to end up with, with one about the size I've got because I absolutely love it. This has ended up about a four and a half. It's about a four and a half inch square. Um, I just personally think it's a really nice size, but obviously tweak it to your own um, needs. So what you're going to do is just gather up various book pages that you've got from your stash, which I have done here, um, and your book pages are going to be different to mine. <clears throat> I wouldn't worry too much about having pretty book pages. It's not necessary, it's just that unfortunate I've got a lot of the Edith Holden book pages left. And so I am going to make that as what will eventually be the cover. But bearing in mind, once I've decorated it, very little of this will show. So, so I would say <clears throat> the largest sheet you're going to want to use is going to be just about 8 and 7 eighths, um, or 8 and 3 quarters. You don't have to be that exact. And I'm not that bothered about making them trim. I actually not, think it's nice to have um, some different edges. So just begin layering them the way that you think looks nice. I like to have things in different sizes so that they're sticking out. And this, um, let's see, we've ended up with one, two, three four, five, six, seven sheets is what I'm going to do for this one. And this tea dye paper, I want to go ahead and punch this um, so that it's got a little bit of a decorative edge on the, um, on the edge of it because I think that's going to look really pretty showing through. So yes, I have absolutely loved um, one more punch here. Um, I think you guys, if you've been following me, you've seen I'm back over to the smaller projects and I am loving it. <laughs> I just, there's something very rewarding about using up our scraps and uh, I really do enjoy the small projects when things get too hectic. I just want to make sure I like the way that looks. 
I think I'm going to actually take this one down just slightly. It's overhanging just a little bit more than I'd like. So <clears throat> let me grab another punch. And let me just do this, this edge. So I hope you guys are all well and staying free of this um, bad bug that's going around. Let's hope we can get through it without um, catching it. It's ridiculous, but every time you get a scratchy voice or, or throat or something, you start thinking, oh, I got it. <laughs> okay, guys, it is gathered up. Now what you're going to want to do is run this through the machine to stitch that or you can do the three hole pamphlet stitch to hold it together. I'm going to run it through the machine so that it's good and secure and then um, before I do that, let me just clip this together, before I do that let me show you how we're going to do the little closure. Again, take your book pages and don't worry about them being um, even. That's not what you want. We're just going to stagger bits and pieces. And I am going to run that through the machine. And then I'll show you how. Um, let me just run this through the machine. And then I'll show you how we're going to attach it to the front. And I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. This is what it looks like now that I've stitched it all together. Nothing complicated. Um, and then what I will do is now <clears throat> just stitch that to the front page. And if you don't have a machine, then you can just glue this. It, you don't have to have a machine to do any of these projects. Um, so you just glue it. But I will run that to the machine. I will first stitch this and then I'll run a stitch down it to hold it all together and I'll be back. Okay guys, I thought I'd show you this for, for those of you who maybe haven't done much uh, crafting. That's what it looks like now and so we just gather it all together and then like I said if you don't have a sewing machine and run a straight stitch down the middle and some people find that difficult to do if you're not you know really good at sewing um, then I would recommend a three-hole pamphlet stitch. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, do a search on, on YouTube. There's loads of tutorials on how to do it. It is the easiest as, and, you know, the, the most simple stitch for somebody who's just starting out. Um, so anyways, guys, that's it. I'm going to do it. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, guys, that's um, taking that to the machine. A straight stitch down there, so now that's all held together. And now the last thing I'm going to do is, I just think it looked really nice with the, the large uh, um, eyelets on it. So let me just grab a couple of those from my stash. And I'm going to set those on the end there. And because that's a couple of layers of um, book page, it's pretty sturdy, but if you feel like it's a little bit thin, you might want to back, reinforce it, just back a little bit of um, extra paper on the bottom side, and that will re reinforce that. But just that little bit of metal uh, makes a big difference. But I'm crazy about these uh, closures. So I am excited to make up some more of these. But you can see how super quick these are going to be and what's nice about it. If you don't bulk it out as much as I did, see mine's a little bit chunky, but if you wanted to just keep this like that, look at how thin that is. You can put that in a um, pocket. Let me grab my lace here. You could grab that in a, um, and tuck it in a uh, pocket of your journal. 
So, uh, okay, so I'm just going to guess. I'll go ahead and go with the lavender. I wouldn't probably do this normally, but um, until I'm done. Because I don't know what image I'm going to make that. <clears throat> the front cover. I might actually just leave this one because that butterfly is nice. I'll probably just leave this one pretty plain um, and just tuck this into a uh, journal pocket. But it is, as you can see, that it's just minutes, minutes to make these guys and um, Another great way for us to get rid of some of those book pages that we've all got sitting around. So I am going to start a playlist for book pages. Um, I've got tutorial playlists, but I think I'll do a separate uh, playlist that is going to be just for book pages. So any of you that... Um, you know, are looking for those ideas, it'll be easier to find. You can just go to my playlist and um, they will be there. So let's see how that looks now. And if I don't like that later, I'll, I can come back and change it. But how quick and easy is that? And I absolutely love it. It's a great use of our book pages. And it's all um, very plain inside, as you know. We'll have another quick look through this one, and then I'll show you um, that one so that you can see how it is decorated. So here you've got some writing paper, book page, a bit more writing paper. So the person, you know, if you were just going to leave it like this, then whoever receives it could decorate it themselves. Or they could come in and gesso over that, and then you've got a, another writing surface there. So they're very quick, very easy, and I think they are just adorable. I love how it came out. So very quickly, let me just show you this one. You can see how I finished it off, because I'm not going to do um, a video on that. You guys are all very creative. You can do a better job than I have, probably. So here I've just made a pocket with a little tag. I did some stamping on that page. Here I've made another little pocket, added a little journal card from my stash, fussy cut a butterfly to add to that, and then here I've just made this little tuck spot and added that little card. So you can see that even though you there's only a few sheets of plain paper, you've got all of these places for writing on the backs of the tags and things. And this is a tiny little pocket, a little label, so you could write the date. But I just can definitely see these at Christmas. I'm going to be making these um, to give out to um, Happy Mail and friends and family. So here, another tuck spot. And then here I've made a tiny pocket with a little stamped tag and another journal card tucked there and then here another ticket or a tag and then a, another journal card from my stash <coughs> excuse me guys and then over here another uh, pocket here full of bits and pieces and then here I've got another little pocket with a tag that's been stamped and then this is a book page pocket so that's been put in there really simple book page pocket. You can get really elaborate on uh, some of those. Here, an envelope with just a little postcard that's been tucked in there. And that's under a little um, tuck spot that I made. And I've got a little butterfly there. Another tuck spot here with a couple other <coughs> bits of ephemera. And then here I took a tag and made it into a little pocket. Some more stamping. <clears throat> Another little tuck spot here. And then another little pocket on the back of that one. 
I love how these have come out. And then this is the back. And then I just tied some uh, sorry silk to this one. So there you go, guys. Another quick and easy way to use up those book pages. I hope that you've enjoyed this. And um, stay tuned because I've got more ideas coming. Take care, everybody. Bye.